I'm doing this interview just one day after Julian Assange was given a Walkley Award for the most outstanding contribution to journalism. And I guess one of the big questions about WikiLeaks and Julian Assange has been, is he a journalist? Um, I don't think there's any doubt that what WikiLeaks has done is journalism. After all, journalism is about two things. It's about collecting information, finding out what's happening, especially finding out stuff that other people don't want you to know. And then it's about processing that information and, and putting it out in some form to the public. What WikiLeaks does primarily is the first of those two functions, much more than the second, although the famous video of the Apache helicopter was highly sculpted and some people felt even um, highly slanted in the way that it was presented. But that's the secondary function of WikiLeaks. The first function is um, by protecting sources, by making it possible for them to leak stuff anonymously. It has um, produced an extraordinary number of stories in the last three or four years uh, that nobody else remotely begins to match anywhere in the world. Uh, and if that doesn't make you an important journalist, I don't know what is. What is extraordinary to me, um, I mean clearly Julian Assange is not an easy person to work with. I think one can deduce that just from the number of people who started working with him and now seem to have turned against him, both within WikiLeaks and in places like The Guardian and The New York Times. Um, that's a personality issue. What I find extraordinary is that some of those prominent media organisations that have profited hugely from the work that WikiLeaks has done, and especially the New York Times, and Bill Keller, the editor-in-chief of the New York Times, is that they have not only turned against him, but they have, it seems to me, deliberately gone out of their way to make him vulnerable uh, to prosecution by the United States authorities under the Espionage Act. They've done this by denying that he's a journalist. Everybody knows that under the First Amendment um, it's extremely difficult to prosecute journalists in the United States. Um, the Pentagon Papers proved that newspapers that published secrets uh, that had been unauthor unauthorized, taken in an unauthorized way, uh, were not liable to uh, prosecution. Uh, their sources might be, they are not. So the distinction between people who are journalists receiving material from sources and people who are sources giving material to journalists is absolutely crucial. And yet Bill Keller, knowing that, comes out and says that as far as he's concerned, WikiLeaks and Julian Assange are just sources. You might as well say, uh, do your worst, Mr. Attorney General. Uh, we, the New York Times, with all our clout, will not uh, go out of our way to protect the person that's given us this extraordinary material. Um, I even remember reading, and to be honest, I can't remember if this was something written by someone at The Guardian or at The New York Times, but certainly one of them, um, that Julian Assange was, and I quote, coy about whether Bradley Manning was his source or the source of the, of the, of the, of the United States uh, State Department cables. What a bizarre thing for a journalist to say about another, to say that they are coy about revealing their sources. Of course Julian Assange is coy about revealing his sources. That is the entire point of WikiLeaks. Um, of course he has never admitted that Bradley Manning is his source, and nor should he, and for all I know uh, Bradley Manning isn't his source, um, although it seems on the face of it from what we know likely. Uh, but there's no way that Julian Assange is going to uh, tell anybody that, not even the people with whom he's sharing the journalistic effort. Uh, and so I, I really don't understand what the mainstream media are playing at. I suspect this is a form of, of, of curious uh, jealousy. Uh, they, are, they are nervous about um, the world of the internet. They are nervous about the proliferation of journalism 
um, on the internet, they are jealous of guarding their position as the, uh, the gatekeepers, as the people who mediate between the public uh, and information. And of course, Assange has always believed uh, that that mediation should be kept to a minimum and the job is just to get the stuff out there. Uh, that's, that's an argument anyone can have, but if you are going to receive information from a source like WikiLeaks, um, but deny that, uh, that the person who set that up uh, is a journalist in the full knowledge that that makes them more vulnerable to prosecution, I don't know how you can sleep at night.